committee. And down at the other end, there's a little bit of a barney goes on. There's uh, two helmets are uh, now discarded. Down at the other end, it is Lark Corbett, and that's the opening score for Tipperary. Yeah, a bit of nonsense there off the ball. The two of them pulled, Declan Fanning and Banville pulled the helmets off each other, whatever that's about, but uh, Je James McGrath is going in there now. Well, you can see uh, Declan Fanning. There, oh, a Banville pull, pulled there's a bit a of a pull stroke there. as well, yeah. Depends what the umpires say now. Well, the umpires, this was clearly in the vision of the umpires. Two yellows, I'd suspect. Both helmets gone. 21 year old just going to take this sideline cut just inside his own half of the field and it's a good one as well gets a bit of distance challenge by Owen Quigley wasn't sufficient to stop right half back David Young on his first championship appearance it's a very good start for the former under 21 Tipperary captain it is Marty great point for a fellow making his first uh, by Brendan Marr Bit of a scramble. The man with the slither in his hand is Peter Atkinson. Knocked away momentarily. Knocked away again by the diving on Quigley. Gets it back for his midfielder, Colin Farrell. And there's Wexford's opening point in this All Ireland qualifier. Good score by Farrell. It was a very good score. Good work here. Darren Stamp gets onto it. Runs on kindly for Colin Farrell. Backfires David Young. Shows well. Good grip. Nice style. Oh, that's a great catch by Owen Kelly. And the turn. It's Noel McGrath actually that got it. Absolutely brilliant score. Just mentioned it before the game and look at after a catch and up and over the bar. One of the most naturally gifted hurlers I think you know we we've seen. Shane McGrath was available, but instead goes in towards the corner. Keith Rossiter, as Michael mentioned, is playing now at left corner back on Noel McGrath. Owen Quigley, having had a series of injuries, good to see him back in this league campaign. Skipping away is Rory Jacob. Onto the left-hand side, straight between the posts. Wexford's second point of the day. A yeah, good low ball in. Sometimes Wexford you know, don't play that low ball, but Rory Jacob out in front and lovely score. Runs on for his Lark Corbett. On the turn. Looking good. As well. Atkinson just couldn't grab it cleanly. Comes out for his Conor O'Mahony. Vote of confidence in his performance. To be back at centre half. Back. Going through here is Garod Ryan. On the turn. Nice stick work. Good play. Made his championship debut last year against Cork, All Ireland minor medalist four years ago. Big test for him this afternoon, and so far he's performed. If David Young is impressive at five for Tipperary, you can. Kyo on that list as well. Bango. And blood substitutes. Mr. Troll. Had to backpedal a little bit. Turns, sends it in towards Banville. Not a bad ball, actually, for the full forward. Now, what's he going to do here? Paul Curran staying in front of him. Banville turns, and that is over the bar for Stephen Banville's first point. Sean Maliers, man, fifth year on the panel, ex University College Cork graduate and student. That's a nice score. Nine. So you're looking at men who've done it on the field as well as in along the sideline as a manager. Good work indeed here by David Redmond. He really had to battle hard. Good pressure by Tipperary. David Young is looking very sharp. That's a beautiful point. Two points for David Young. Not bad for points for Wexford. Six for Tip. And all nine points from play. Nothing from a place ball or from a free yet. Nice work by Hugh, or rather Harry Hyo. Backfires uh, the midfielder, and that is going to drop just over Brendan Cummins' crossbar. Going back to gather is Conor O'Mahony. 
Paul Roach underneath this. Ah, oh, the fielding we've seen so far in Semple Stadium. Uh, you wouldn't see it possibly in a Gaelic football match. Really enjoyable. Nice little block by the midfield combination of Brendan Mark. Here goes Shane McGrath. This is a great run by McGrath. Takes a shot, stopped by Noel Carton, and deflected out for a 65. Um, 28 years of age since uh, last January. Incredibly, in his career, he scored 14 goals and 290 points. Make it 291. An incredible hurler. Not something that was obviously going on. Meanwhile, we'll continue on with the action. Here's Keith Rossiter. Playing hurling in this All-Ireland qualifier, despite breaking his hand four weeks ago. The clearance is not a good one. There's a flick back. The referee, I think, is going to blow his whistle. Is he, or is he going to allow the score by Noel McGrath? I think he's going to allow it. Cutting through, heading past the 13. He's heading straight towards goal. What can he do here? Across. Cummins is there, and he deflects it out for a 65. Peter Atkinson with the 65. Has plenty of height, and the umpire will retain possession. Tomas Waters is there, wearing 11. Harry Kill beside him is his midfield, Perlis Sarsfield's man. Loose ball picked up by Callanan. Sent towards Noel Carton's goalpost and sent straight over the bar. That's the game has gone very, very physical. Here's the free. Going to be taken by Owen Kelly. Scored a 65 so far. And you always know with Owen Kelly that he knows that it's going exactly where he wants it to go. This is going to be taken by Tomas Mahan from Rapparees. That's a good cut. Will it curl in? Goes all the way back for his temporary goalkeeper, Brendan Cummins. Straight down the middle. Look who's looking for the slither. Lar Corbett. Out around the middle of the field, touches it beautifully with the hurl and scores his third. And uh, not good for uh, for Declan or indeed for the Tipperary uh, full back line. As this free going to be taken by Colum Farrell, he's okay, already scored away, once. Right. This looks good. Bang on target. Second point for the Bunclody man. Line of Jacob Banville and Mahan on full power. Going through here is Patrick Marr. And that's a point for the left half forward from Laura and Dora. Yeah, I think he'd be, he'd be happy with bits of <laughs> information, Martin. I don't know how you get them on. I don't know either at this stage. But anyway, Michael, we continue on. Darren Stamp lays it off as Richie Kyo. Looks to see if he can find Banville. Loose ball available. Comes back outside far as Tomas Waters. Well surrounded. Good defence, good pressure by Tipperary. But not sufficient. To deprive Wexford of another valuable point. The Moss Mahan at the end of it. Lar Corbett. Backfires David Young. Sweet striker of a ball. Not bad for a right half back. Three points in the opening half. Well, Martin, the, the last day I was down here at Waterford, Declan Prendergast came on at half time and scored three points from left half back. And see David Young, just absolutely fantastic striking. Like he was 70 yards out and it went way over the bar. Loads to Kill just got a touch. The Tipperary regained control in the middle of the field. Good ball for his own Kelly on the turn. It's his first point from play. Easily won back by Jim Berry. And that's another good score by the Fejarriers boy. Ball sent across by Tomas Mahan. There's nobody really there except Michael Cahill. Up towards Lark Corbett, who's had a quite second half after he scored two goals. Over towards Noel McGrath, turning easily. Past the 20, past the 13, there's trouble off the crossbar. Gary Egan! It's becoming quite embarrassing. But is out there battling with Jim Berry, but it's Tipperary and Seamus Hennessy. The ball is hits off somebody. <laughs> Noel Carton is there, alert. Sends it straight down the middle again. 
Neatly picked up here by Harry Kill. Needs a little bit of support. Jim Berry is there. And he sends that off the crossbar and over the bar for Jim Berry's third point. Not bad for a substitute, and I know there are people who would say... Young of Tipperary, let's hear from him. David Young, congratulations to you. Your championship debut, three points from right half back, and a man of the match performance. A, a pretty good afternoon all round. Yeah, happy enough now, to be honest. Now it is uh, surprised being man of the match, all right, but it's a team performance. And it's very surprising. Uh, Tipperary, of course, disappointing exit from the Munster Championship that day against Cork. Is it a case now of getting back on track? Ah, yeah, like, you know, it's very disappointing losing to Cork, you know. We went in the week after and we said, right, let's get the head, heads back back up, like, and get the show back on the road. And we have, like, you know, last four weeks have been tough enough and tense, and we've picked it up big time. So it's we've taken every step as it comes now, like, so we won today and now in two weeks' time, now in 17, and roll on again, whoever it is, and we'll keep the head, keep the head high, you know. A very comfortable win today. Were you expecting that? No, definitely not. No, we knew Wexford were going to come down and we were going to tear it, tear into us. Like you know, we knew we knew what we were expecting. Like, uh, like last time they beat us in 2007. So, you know, I don't know what way it would have went, but we know just keep the head going. Like and drive it on. Like it's a much needed confidence boost, though I suppose, because people had said Tipperary had very much gone backwards after that court game. Yeah, I sure like you know, there's a lot of talk going around like uh, about you know Tipper gone and all that you know, but. At the end of the day, we're not like, and it's every step as it comes now. So we've two weeks' time now, so get the head back down to his night and get back into seeing things again. You know. Okay, well done today, David. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, Liam, a very comprehensive uh, victory this afternoon. Are you back where you want to be? Well, we're in the next round. I guess that was the aim today. Uh, clear, you know, Wexford were always a difficult assignment for us. You know, obviously they were victorious in 2007, so we were well wary of the challenge today coming in. And you know, up to half time, there wasn't a whole pile in, and we tagged down a few pints maybe at the end of the, the end of the first half. But really, you know, the period that we won the match in was in the first three or four minutes of the second half. You know, we got the two goals, and you know, you know, for the, we, we we made a lot of mistakes today, a lot of basic errors. We've we've a lot that we can improve on. But at the same time, today was all about trying to get, you know, the qualifier started. Um, you know, and, and I guess you know we're happy. Just have got to win. I suppose it was a game that lacked a huge amount of intensity. Yeah, couldn't agree with you more. You know, it didn't look like anything like championship fair to be honest with you. You know, um, um, you know, we didn't really find a, a very high tempo either, you know. So uh, but as I said, today really was all about, you know, we, we've we've lost classics before, there's not a whole lot in that either. You know, today as I said was all about getting the victory. But you know, look we've we've got a lot of improving to do. I'm well aware of that. But the lads, you know, it's it's um, you know, losing down in Cork and getting such a beating was, was, was a tough place to come back from. So, you know, psychologically that's that's at least it puts us back on the road and gets us back up and running and you know as I said that was today it was all about so mission accomplished from that point of view. Okay Liam, thanks very much. Thanks. Eight. Serious.